NextH has prepared this instructional video as a supplement to existing labeling and training materials. This tool is not intended to replace the NextH System 1 user's guide or cartridge instructions for use. Refer to appropriate user's guides and instructions for use for all warnings and precautions. You have selected the TPE module. In this section, we will review how to set up, initiate prime, make cartridge connections, program treatment settings, launch and monitor treatment, and end treatment. Before proceeding, make sure you have changed the appropriate system settings as specified in the cartridge instructions for use. Let's start by turning on the one view. You can remove the power cord from the wall outlet and reinsert it, or depress the reset button on the jewel box. Wait for the standby screen, then choose new patient or current patient as appropriate. Follow the IFU or quick start note instructions. We'll start with setup. Gather and inspect your supplies. Open the cycler door completely and leave the handle up. Turn the cycler on. Wait for the yellow bars to flash. Unpack the cartridge and tighten the patient line connections. Lift the priming spike from the cartridge. Insert the cartridge into the cycler and press the tubing into all three air detectors. Close the cycler door carefully to ensure tubing is not caught in the door. Insert the access pressure pod monitoring line into the connection point on the cycler. While maintaining firm pressure, twist the tip one quarter turn counterclockwise, then tighten the locking collar. This seals the connection. Insert the filter pressure pod monitoring line into the connection point on the cycler. Use the same technique as described and twist the tip a quarter of a turn counterclockwise, then tighten the locking collar. You may choose to place the filter T into the filter holder to streamline the tubing. You are finished with setup. We will continue with Initiate Prime. Hang a 1 liter bag of normal saline. Hang an additional 2 to 4 1 liter bags of normal saline on the IV pole. The third and fourth bag hung will give you approximately 30 to 45 minutes of total recirculation time without exhausting the fluid. Clamp all four white clamps on the priming spikes. Insert the priming spikes into the additional 1 liter bags of normal saline and keep the white clamps closed. Insert the recirculation spike into the 1 liter of normal saline until the saline bag is flush with the disc on the spike. Press the Add Fluid key to begin prime. Set up the waistline extension by securing the end of it with the clamp to the IV pole. Do not connect it to the cartridge. Remove the clear end cap and then position it in the drain, leaving an air gap between the end and the fluid in the drain. Do not submerge the end of the waistline. A drain bag can also be used for collection if desired. At step 2.5 of Prime, a number 80 yellow caution reconfigure cartridge line will appear on the one view and a number 80 will appear in the yellow caution window on the cycler. Clamp the white clamp on the recirculation spike going to the saline bag. Unclamp the white clamps on the priming spikes that are connected to the additional saline bags. 
at the recirculation spike, clamp both yellow clamps. Disconnect the waistline and connect to the waistline extension or collection bag and unclamp. At the filter T, clamp the arterial and venous lines red and blue clamps. Clamp all white clamps on the filter T. Clamp the effluent line yellow clamp. You are now ready to attach the plasma separator. Remove the plasma separator from its package. Hold the filter so you can read the labeling. Turn the filter so that the side ports are upright. Remove the cap from the plasma outlet top side port. Attach the blue Hansen connector and clamp. Seat fully to prevent leaks. Continue holding the filter so that the side port is upright and remove the cap from the remaining outlet bottom side port. Attach the red Hansen connector, seat fully, and clamp. Now turn the filter so that you can read the language. Remove the cap from the venous outlet top port. Attach the venous bloodline and unclamp. Rotate the filter so that the arterial end is now upright. Remove the cap from the arterial inlet bottom port. Attach the arterial bloodline and unclamp. Finally, connect the effluent line to the blue Hansen connector and unclamp the blue and yellow clamps. Discard the filter T and press add fluid to continue. At step 3.1 of prime, a number 81 yellow caution tap filter to remove air will appear on the one view and a number 81 will appear in the yellow caution window on the cycler. Hold the filter and gently tap it against the palm of your hand several times until no air is seen coming from the venous end. Do not tap the filter with anything harder than your hand. This could cause a blood leak. Hold filter upright against the cartridge tray so that you can read the labeling on the filter. Wrap the filter strap around the filter just below the blue Hansen connector and twist the filter so that the Hansen connectors face outward away from the cycler. While waiting for primes and alarms tests to continue, hang the therapy fluid, albumin or donor plasma, ordered by the physician on the IV pole. We are using normal saline for this demonstration. Clamp all the green end clamps on the therapy fluid MLA and connect to the therapy fluid. Prime the therapy MLA and clamp. Do not place into the fluid warmer. We will not be using the optional fluid warmer for this therapy. Once the prime and alarms test is complete, the machine will chime. You will then verify the first display test, the eights. If all the light segments are lit, press the mute key to confirm. The machine will chime again for the second display test. The display should read 1 through 4, A through H, and 9 through 1 descending. Press mute to confirm. Verify the 23 in the top window. 
indicating that the system is in recirculation. You have not yet completed all the steps required before connecting the cartridge. Do not press stop. Do not clamp lines or make cartridge connections. Do not connect the patient to the device. And do not allow the system to recirculate unattended at this point to prevent the bags from running dry. Clamp all used priming spike lines. Unclamp the white clamp on the recirculation spike. Prime the red port on the recirculation spike by loosening the cap to vent air. Tighten the cap and clamp the red line. Locate the therapy fluid inlet and the arterial access line, clamp and disconnect. Place a sterile cap on the therapy fluid inlet line. Connect the arterial line to the red port on the recirculation spike and unclamp both clamps. Remove the air from the blood circuit by snapping the arterial line beginning at the priming spike. Locate the filter on the left side of the cycler, remove it from the filter strap, and then gently tap the filter using the palm of your hand several times. Place the filter in the filter holder with the venous end upright. Make sure no lines are kinked. Snap the venous return patient line and observe air moving toward the drain. Press stop. Confirm that default treatment rates are displayed. Prime is now completed, all pumps are stopped and all safety alarms are armed. You are in patient connect mode. Prime the pre-pump T and clamp. You have now completed the steps in Prime. You can now make cartridge connections. Prepare the patient's vascular access. Heparin, as prescribed, can be administered to the patient. Allow three to four minutes for the heparin to circulate throughout the patient's body. Connect the therapy fluid inlet to the therapy fluid MLA and unclamp both clamps. Clamp the saline line and saline T. Starting at the recirculation spike, clamp both red clamps and disconnect. Cap the recirculation spike with a cap or syringe to maintain sterility. Attach the arterial patient line to the patient's vascular access and unclamp both clamps. Clamp the venous line and the waistline T and disconnect. Cap the waistline T with a cap or syringe to maintain sterility. Attach the venous patient line to the patient's vascular access and unclamp both clamps. The waistline can stay connected to the waistline extension or be connected directly into a bag if desired. Confirm that the system is ready. Completion of these steps may prevent inadvertent alarms. Look at the patient's lines to see if they are connected to the vascular access and all clamps are open. Check that the saline line and saline T are clamped. Check the waistline to see that all clamps are open and the end cap is removed 
or the waistline is connected to a drain bag with clamps open. Make sure the filter is in the filter holder with the venous end upright. Check that the therapy fluid clamps on the lines being used are open. This completes the Make Cartridge Connection section. We will continue with program treatment settings. Press the volume toggle and observe VOL in the bottom window. Enter the therapy volume goals. Make sure you see VOL in the red window when entering the volumes. Therapy volumes should match the volumes of albumin or donor plasma hung. Ultrafiltration volume should remain at zero. Press the volume toggle to return to the rates display, or the rate display will reappear if the buttons are not engaged for 10 seconds. Set the blood pump rate to 150 milliliters per minute using the arrows. Leave the therapy fluid and ultrafiltration rates at zero. This completes the section on programming your treatment settings. Now we will launch and monitor the therapy. Press the treatment key to start the treatment. If anticoagulant infusion is ordered by the physician, start it now. Blood flow rate and replacement fluid rate can be increased up to a maximum filtration fraction of 33% or as specified in the plasma separator's directions for use. You have successfully started therapy. Refer to the detail or double arrow buttons in one view for more information on monitoring the treatment. Monitor the treatment and provide appropriate interventions if necessary as outlined by your hospital protocol. To end the treatment and return the blood, click on the end button on one view. Choose your desired type of rinse back by referring to the end treatment module. Congratulations, you have completed the TPE module.